Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Fortnite Carbide by McFarlane Toys. Before I get into this though, of course I gotta let it be known that this is for adult collectors only. This video is not for kids. So you guys already know the drill, man. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it, crack this thing open because uh, I mean, this is an oldie, but it's a goldie. I mean, it's carbide. So, uh, oh, I mean, he seems like he'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, these are like Series 1. It's all over the place with these. Oh, man. <laughs> I was talking to you guys before about going back and... I've been saving all my packages for like years now. Uh, I mean, it goes way back from like 2007. Uh, mostly, I was keeping Marvel Legends stuff, but lately, like the last three years, I've been keeping everything. So it just got ridiculous. And uh, I got them big dumbass like lawn bags just this Monday. I loaded five of those bags, plus a full, I've got two barrels that go out, and I uh, filled one of those full of nothing but empties too. So I made a lot of progress, but man, I still got a long ways to go. <laughs> I got at least another two weeks worth of pickups, if I even do like five bags like that. I mean, I guess I could get it all out at once, but it was a lot of shit. But I'm glad, I, I'm going to just, it's relief, feeling relief, <coughs> getting rid of all that stuff because it's like making me feel borderline, not really like a collector, but more like a hoarder, and because really, we don't need this shit, I mean, the proof that I've got this stuff is right here in plastic form, I don't need the packages, there's really no reason for them to ever go back in the package, I'm not going to sell them, so, uh, and even if I was, who cares, I'll sell them loose, uh, but let's talk about this guy, man. Right away, I'm getting a lot of loose joints on this fucking figure. So, a lot. I mean, <laughs> there's not much stiffness. There's some loose ankles, um, loose arm here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's bad enough. So, uh, let me get into the accessories. Of course, we've got the harvesting tool here. Nothing spectacular, but it is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I could see him wielding this as opposed to actually having this gun, which is like a grenade launcher. Pretty cool, though. And then, of course, there's the back bling, which is like, I don't know, maybe a jetpack or something. Sort of. So, that looks pretty cool on him. Uh, yeah, this, this shoulder is really loose, and so is the... You know, the loose shift in the shoulder there and the uh, pin that goes around is loose. So that's going to make it difficult to hold his weapons the way you'd like. Um, I like the metallic paint job on him. That's pretty cool. These ankles are going to be a pain in my ass. I can thank God for these peg stands, man. <coughs> So yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be posing this dude with his gun. He just seems like in his natural state that this would be his weapon if he actually had to have one. So that's why I'll, I'll pose this dude. Of course, the articulation. I mean, we don't need to get into that. Twenty-two points of articulation. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. Oh come on. This is a chore. It shouldn't be a chore. This should be fun. But fuck that fucking hand so tight. Alright. So I get one in, one comes out. It's the way she goes, right? Fuck, I didn't even want that hand there. Alright, that's more like it. <sighs> He's like, yeah, this dude looks cool, man. I'm digging this guy. 
I'm surprised it took me this long to get this dude out of the package. But of course, that's the way all of them are. But I think carbide looks pretty decent, right? Looks like he'd be a badass. I still regret never playing this game. And who knows, maybe one day. Because I noticed a lot of... I think a lot of collectors that have been collecting this toy line that's never played the game are starting to kind of, you know mess around with it and check it out so I'm not gonna say I never will play the game I just never have um, or at least maybe I can watch some people that do play it that's like live streaming it or something and you know at least to get some kind of familiar from I don't even want to make up words but you guys know what I'm about to say <laughs> <coughs> so here is carbide on the stand. Thank God for the stand, because otherwise I don't think this dude would stand with his ankles. They're very loose. Um, I wish that wasn't the case. Hopefully that's not the case for everybody else. Maybe mine's just a fluke. But it's like almost having like a stealth suit Iron Man. It feels like I'm. It's almost like yeah. I feel like I'm really messing with a Marvel Select uh, stealth suit Iron Man here, <laughs> with like you know extra weapons and shit. That's cool, man. He does give that Iron Man vibe, at least. I'm digging it. No, yeah, I already did Omega. So, Omega was very similar to this in design and everything, so. But his joints were nowhere near loose like this, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. I'll give it a thumbs up, anyways. Uh, I can. I, I, there's tricks. There's uh, techniques to get rid of loose joints. Um, I often use. Oh god! I almost wiped out my fucking Deadpool shelf again. <laughs> I think that happened recently. I, can't, I don't. I don't think I like that spot. I'm gonna have to move that. But yeah, I, I've talked about this before. I use this shit here to, uh, you know, tighten up joints. It works. It really works good, but it does leave film on it that you kind of you got to be able to scrub off somehow carefully. But yeah, um, but I don't. I, it hasn't been bothering me so much. Like most of my figures are standing, whether they're loose or not. But if it gets to the point where they're ones that I want to be displayed and the flimsy limbs are, you know, causing problems, then yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. But otherwise, I don't feel like. Digging out all of my loose jointed figures to fix them at once. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of Carbide. Let me know what you guys think of my video. Uh, as usual, like, comment, and share if that's what you're able to do. And I'm Master Marvel 80 Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out until then.